Jesus gave himself for us. But why did he give himself for us? Notice there's two things given here in verse 14. He gave himself for us, first of all, to redeem us from all lawlessness. So catch what's implicit in that phrase. You are lawless and you need to be redeemed from that. Jesus gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness because we are lawless. Here's what that means. You do whatever the heck you want. That's what it means. It means at the end of the day, you don't want any rules given to you. You don't want to be under anyone's authority. At the end of the day, you want to decide what's right and true and good for you and live according to your own rules and be the only authority in your life. That's what it means. And you know that's true if you're honest with yourself. You know that you're lawless. You know there's something in you that bristles and resents the idea that someone is in authority over you, that someone can tell you what to do, that someone can make rules for your soul or for your life and say you should live this way. There's something you don't have to go, why? I'll prove it to you. It's, it's, it's funny at the simplest and ba- most basic level. I've used this analogy before, but some of you guys haven't been here. So I'll show it again. Look at this photo. What do you want to do right now? What do you want to do? You want to go on the grass, don't you? If you're there and the sign says keep off the grass, the first thing to rise up is what's so special about this grass? Why do I got to keep off here? Man, God made grass for people to enjoy. God didn't make concrete. How about I walk on this grass? What's so special about this grass? Why do I have to keep off? Whose rule is this? Does that sign really have any authority to tell me what to do? Who put that sign there? Right? Your heart just naturally does this. You are confronted with some sort of prohibition, and the first thing you think is, well, how come? How come I can't do that? Jesus gave himself for us to redeem us from lawlessness because at the core of our being, we're all lawless. We want to be our own authority. But see, grace changes us. Jesus redeems us from lawlessness, meaning he forgives our lawlessness and he also changes us and buys us out of that and transfers us into a new reality where now we joyfully submit to God's law. We want to be obedient to God. We want to live under his authority. We see him as good and his rules and his laws as good and given for our benefit. Why? Because Jesus, by his grace, changes us. Because he gave himself for us. 